Welcome back. So just like in our last video when we explored and saw our options of should we make a local download of jQuery or should we use a hosted option from the Google or the Microsoft CDNs, we have the same option again with the jQuery UI, only there's a little bit of a difference. The jQuery UI JavaScript file, both on Microsoft Network and the Google Network, are everything that the jQuery UI has. And as we've noted already earlier when we were looking at the different capabilities, it has a lot of capabilities. Do you need all those capabilities? Probably not. You're not going to use every single element. You're not going to use every single thing inside of the library and every single website that you build. But if you upload or you use that CDN, you're basically forcing the user to have at least 230K downloaded, plus the actual, because they have to also download the jQuery itself, they have to have at least 260K before they even did anything, which is a lot. So I don't recommend using the Google CDN at all for jQuery UI, nor do I recommend it from the Microsoft. And by the way, Microsoft also offers the CSS directly on their, on their server, which we're going to talk more about CSS in a later video, so it's a side note. But I don't recommend using those CDNs, and actually I recommend you going into the jQuery UI um, website itself and then creating a custom download. You're going to actually integrate that custom download into your, into your application, and we're not going to run too deeply into it right now, but we're going to practice this in the end of the two hours of our sessions. In our custom download, once you click on it, you'll see that you could build the 